What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out Wizard of Legend, which in my opinion is one of the better indie games ever made over the last 10 years or so. High praise, but it is a really fun game that makes you feel super powerful, while at the same time, you are a glass cannon. Like, this game really exemplifies what it would be to be a lightly armored wizard on the battlefield just blasting fireballs, but every hit that you take is critical. Let's check it on out. It's had a bunch of updates, so I think it's time to play. We're at Lenova Museum, and we're rocking a blue cloak over here. All right, what's up, man? I see you dodging all over the place. Welcome to the Museum of Lenova. Here's a complimentary Airburst Dash Arcana for your convenience. Yay! Now I can dance around like these guys are. Huzzah. Did you know that true wizards never ever take their hoods off? Never ever? Like ever ever? Never. His name is Spike and he's got spiky hair. See, it fits. What's going on over here? On display are some of the arcana that wizards used in the Chaos Trials. These arcana were created by virtuosos who imbued their masterpieces with elements refined from chaos. By channeling their magical energies through these arcana, wizards could summon powerful elements depicted on these works. Cool. Ooh. Can I try out the arcana? Hey there, here are a couple arcana for you to try out. While these replicas don't really have any real effects, you can use them in the museum's interactive exhibits. Try giving those training dummies a good one too. We've got Wind Slash and we've got Fireballs. All right. That, this would be probably the coolest museum ever. I don't know if I would ever leave. If this museum was a real thing, I, I would go there every single day. What's going on over here? Welcome to the Signature Arcana Exhibit. Try this one out. When fully charged, the Exploding Fireball Signature lets you hurl fireballs in quick succession. Signature Arcana are normally charged by striking targets with spells, but for the purposes of this exhibit, you can pick up the Blue Magic Orb in the practice area. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty rad. I, I want to shoot signature fireballs in real life. I want that. I want that really, really badly. The Chaos Trials were an annual invitational event administered by the Lenovian Council of Magic. These powerful wizards were masters of their chosen elements and fashioned the trials for contestants to undertake. Okay, so we got like an ice lady over here. We got like a nature rock geo dude over on this side. We've got a fire lady, obviously, where her head is clearly on fire, but nobody brings it up in conversation because it's rude. What else can we do? Anything else around here? What do you have going on? Chaos Arcana were specialized Arcana, crafted directly from chaos energies that required great skill and finesse to activate. Only wizards who successfully completed trials were entrusted with the possession of the Chaos Arcana. However, very little is known about the use of these Arcana as none of the legendary wizards are around today. So all these people are like officially dead. They're like gone. Welcome to the Chaos Trials interactive course. This course will give you an idea of what it was like to take on the Chaos Trials. Good luck, I know you can do it. All right, so we can like dash across. Maybe break a magical chest right there, get a freezing sprite that's now hanging out with us. I do like my sprite extra cold. Uh oh. Apparently, we've got little enemy. Ow, fool! Nobody said I could get hurt in this trial. Nobody said that. That was that was never a part of the agreed upon thing. Nice. Give me my treasure chest. We've got frost fan. Okay, that's kind of cool. I don't know how good that's going to be, but we'll give it a try. Can I frost fan you guys? Yeah, I am a fan of frost, and you about to get frosted out here like a Pop-Tart. Yep, shoot a couple fireballs over there, maybe fire off one of those bad boys. What do we got going on? Oh, my Q is ready? Yeah, let's Q it on up. Uh, yep, how you like me now? Take that, rival wizard that has no colors on your cloak. What's going on in this room? You're going to lock me in again, aren't you? I knew it. Ooh, that guy got wrecked. I took a little bit of damage in the meantime, but... Let's focus on how badly these dudes got laid out. How about that? Yeah, just keep putting fireballs on them. I don't feel like dealing with this many tiny slimes. It's a little bit overwhelming. I'm victorious. Huzzah! I am the best. Give me my health. Aw, oh, yeah. Who's this guy? Wizards who entered the Chaos Trials were usually garbed in standard wizarding cloaks shown here. They were allowed to enter the trials with one of each of four classes of Arcana as well as a relic of their choosing. Okay. That's good to know. That's a treasure chest, obviously. That's a different cloak. Can I get a free one? No, you guys don't give me a free cloak? All I ever wanted was free clothing. Why well, you gotta leave me out here looking all terrible? I'm out here looking bootsy at the moment. Looking all bummy. This section of the exhibit will be opening very shortly. We apologize for the inconvenience. The insignia of legend was a mark of distinction granted only to wizards who successfully overcame the chaos trials. Other than its ceremonial use, not much else is known about the relic other than that it was crafted directly from chaos energy. Uh-oh.
Pardon me, are you all right? That looked like quite a tumble. Oof, it's good to, I'm glad to see you're okay. Welcome to your new home away from home. As a wizard invited to participate in the Chaos Trials, your accommodations and your services are provided by the Magical Council. Also included is a one-time stipend of 100 Chaos Gems. You'll have to excuse the mess. We weren't expecting guests this soon. Not to worry, though. We're going to have everything sorted out shortly. In the meantime, let's do a round of introductions. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Ward, and all of your enchanted attire will be my charge. Now let's see the fashionable outfits I have ready for you. I want to be blue. Let me boo yeah, I want to be a blue boy out here. I like cool colors. I don't like hot colors. Hey, I'm Mimi, and I'll be snacking on all the relics you find. Don't worry, they're safe and ready whenever you need them. Okay. Apparently, I have an offensive writ. How offensive is it? Like, how offensive is this relic? How do I go to the next thing over? Oh, like so. What is that right there? Increased damage and movement speed when you're with a true friend. Okay, I've got a friend bracelet, just in case we were planning on playing collab today, but we're not, so... Spoiler alert, a pleasure to meet you. I'm Tommy, and I'll be cataloging all the arcana you come across. Let's peruse through the gallery now. Okay. Sounds good. Can I just, like, go outside? I don't want to talk to inanimate objects anymore. You think that every time I go through that teleport, it's actually killing me and just making a copy on the other side? Halt. Only wizards who have been invited to participate in the Chaos Trials are allowed past this point. Oh, you're that last minute entrant. The council's informed us of your arrival. You're free to proceed. I've got chaos gems. Can I do anything fun with it? Let's see here. Blast enemies away with plumes of flame. Flame strike unlocked. You can now equip this arcana. How do I equip the arcana? Huh? So I can go in here. Apparently I can swap those around. But as of right now, maybe I need to look at an Arcana book or something in order to make that happen. Or maybe it'll just show up in the dungeon. I don't know. Can I go back to my house? Let's go talk to our Arcana guy real fast. See if he's got anything for us. You got... No, I don't think you're the one that I'm looking for. I need the book. Where's my book at? Lightning Arcana depict dynamic tone with dazzling contrast. It serves to properly illustrate their raw energy. Is it a standard ability? So we've got Exploding Fireball, and then we've got Standards over here. Is it a basic ability? Oh, apparently that's a basic attack. Oh, cool. Nice, dude. We've got little, like, pluffs of flame. Sweet. I mean, I think I would rather have an elemental attack than a non-elemental attack, so let's go do the dungeon then. I don't want to spend my money until I know, like, what I'm looking for. I think some of this stuff drops in the dungeon anyways. What's life without mystery? How about we shuffle things around for your next run? It'll cost you 10 gems for a randomized build. No, I'm good. I'm solid on that front, I think. Nothing inside that treasure chest? I saw a treasure chest and I got excited. Ooh, we've got other cloaks. I can have a green one. Increases run speed and increases your evade chance. Increases armor and defense and vigor. Increases your max health and defense. That's tempting. I think I want pace. Let's go talk to Ward real fast. I want to wear that one right there. I'm a big fan of the color green. For those of you that have been the cha been around the channel for a while, you'll know that my favorite color is green. Yep, that's my guy right there. Let's do it. I don't feel like I'm that much faster. Oh, you get a little burst after a little bit. Okay, so it's not like right now. You actually got to like try. So our first trial, we're going up against Icy Lady. Let's go fight some Icy Lady. Let's do this thing. Icy lady, icy lady in the dungeon with a lady of ice. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, I'm gonna like feed you guys up a little bit right here. Oh, I thought that laser was coming from her. It was coming from the block, gotcha. All right, well, there's a chaos gem. Definitely take that, no questions asked. Let's go look over this way and see if we can find anything good up in here. Wizard of legend, I'm the wizard, and I'm coming in. I'll probably fight these guys back here just to stay safe. Yeah, I don't think I feel like dealing with you right now, man. Like, I don't mean to... I like how little book pages, like, fly out of them as you're hitting them. That's really, really sweet. I like little additive touches like that inside of a game to make it feel like your attacks actually have impact. And you're actually, like, hurting things. Nothing down there. Can I get stuff out of the crates, or is that, like, pointless? We have 30% clear this area. Dude, I am, like, speedy. I've got wheels on right now. Hell yeah. Nah. So that guy's firing arrows at me. 
gotcha. Oh, I thought I could dodge through the- Ow! Okay, alright, alright, calm down. I thought I could dodge through the arrows. I was wrong. Are you dead yet? Good lord, man. There we go. I need you to, like, fall over right this set. Mm. Oh, I can only shoot one of them. Gotcha. Well, at least it hit the one that I'm focusing on for right now. He's down. Stay away from you. Oh, there's another one over there. Awesome. All right, well, let's stun him. Give him a little bit of the old knockback. Feed him a little bit of the flame. I think I got to cycle in my little rocket punch DBZ move right there a little bit faster. You know, my little key blast. My hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You know how it happens when you're watching anime. When they like to line them up a bunch and then like drill you against the wall with them real fast. Ooh, a little challenge room right here. All right, got sucker punched a little bit. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that at all, but I'm going to keep trucking over here. Hopefully we can line them up with a... Oh, I'm faster than I thought I was. That was my bad. I didn't mean to. Is my signature ability charged up yet? What's this guy got going on? Oh, this guy actually paints new cards. He's got an enhanced stalwart defender. What does this do over here? Oh, it takes me back to the middle. Okay, that's nice to know. At least I learned a new thing. I gotta get used to, like, my land speed right now. I keep running into ass whoopings on accident without realizing. Oh, I kind of felt like I made that, but okay. Game. All right, game. I will, I will retreat, and I will note that you are correct and that it's my fault. That eyeball's dead. Take care of this one now real fast. Perfect. So we've got a sail over here. This guy's got a green portal, and it looks like... Can I go back through the portal after I use it? So it's like a one-time hearthstone type deal. Okay. Definitely can feel that out for a little bit. What's down this way? You're not going to lock me in, are you? Oh, there's the pink guy right there. So with my map... Where have I not been? I haven't been down. I thought I went that way already. Hmm. I totally thought I cleared out that area, but I guess that I didn't? Feeling a little bit lackadaisical in my adventuring expertise right now. Apparently there's some kind of sigil of frost or something on the floor right there. Either that or they're casting it on me. I don't know if they're casting it or if it's just there by default. Yeah, let's go ahead and light him up real fast. See if I can send a couple of my little fire dragons around the corner. But if I can kill a couple of them and limit the amount of projectiles in the air, that's what I'd prefer to do right now. Nice. Okay, so we managed to push our way through that after taking only a little tiny bit of damage. Sorry, gents. I can't let you do what you're thinking about doing right now. But I will take that chaos gem with me, all right? Sonic needs it. He needs it. You guys remember the Chaos Emerald-like levels? Those were pretty fun, right? Back in the day, running in the... I guess every single one was different. It was like a pinball machine when you played the first Sonic. When you played Sonic 2, if I remember correctly, you were running in, like, tubes or something like that in kind of like a behind-the-Sonic third-person position, if I remember correctly. You all done here? I could definitely use more Chaos Gems. So, like, I spent all of mine on, like, a fancy coat... Where does that go to like a boss? Have I been everywhere? I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. I don't think this air. Oh, yeah, it does. Actually, there's another room down here. What does this guy have going on? What's up with you? Give me one of your arcana. Shuffle in. I'll let you choose one to keep from my hand. What do you say? Nah, I'm good. I, I think I like... I'm trying to get used to my bare basic tools right now. And I'm not trying to shake up the game a whole lot at the moment. I'm trying to stay... I'm trying to stay centered on what I have. What are you, like a boss? Oh my god. There's kind of a lot of you in here. This concerns me. My blasts actually cancel out their blast, though, which is pretty cool. Oh, he summoned more of them. So maybe it's like pointless to kill off the little orbs? I don't know. I don't know where I want to be in this, but I know I don't want to be right there where that giant cross of red lines is. Alright, we just got to adjust to the pace of things. Just got to pace this out for a minute. I wonder if I'm immune to damage while teleporting, or if that's like... I didn't mean to do that, but... I'm 
going to try and liquidate this boy, though. Down he goes. We actually took less damage from the boss than we took from the entirety of the rest of the level. On F, we've got Gale Force Alignment. Okay, so I can put that out there. We've also got Gaia's Shovel. What does Gaia's Shovel do? Let's see, it increases your earth damage. It's a good thing I don't have any earth attacks right now. Cool boy. Apparently you score points out here too. Off to the next level. We will complete the trials. We will become the Grand Wizard. No one will stand over our body right now. When we become the Wizard of Legend, no one's going to lay over our dead body going like, that's my boy. Like, that's not, we're not doing sad scenes right now. All right. Yeah, maybe let's not get shot by a Cyclopean eye right now. That'd be good. Got a little bit of cash to spend, though. A little bit of money burning a hole in my pocket. So that maybe once we get further... Oh, no. I don't know what just happened, but... It seems pretty unpleasant. I'm seeing all kinds of new enemies right now that I've never seen before. So I'm having to step on spikes and do all kinds of dumb stuff to learn their patterns. You got a health potion or something? Yeah, let me get that. I'll take that healing potion like right now. I got 135, I got 144 left. What does this gauntlet do? Allows you to destroy enemy projectiles with basic arcana. Faster movement speed increases your critical hit chance. Let's take it. The analytical monocle. Ooh, I didn't even know that was an attack. Good lord. See, that's the problem is I'm trying to learn all these new attacks on each of these new enemy types each time. And I'm taking like one hit each time trying to learn what they do. We'll get it all locked in though. I think our metagame knowledge is going to grow slightly as we get further into this. Alright, let's cut to the left and see what we got over here because obviously this is a dead end. I like how we Naruto run everywhere. It makes me happy. It's frivolous. Damn it. Alright, if we keep eating away health like that, this is not going to be a tangible long-term option. I would like that summoner to die. Try out the new spell. Oh, it does okay. It's not too bad. Like, it deals its damage and does its work. I don't think there's any more healing potions on this level, though. Yeah, you guys, like, hang out over here. I don't know what these guys do, but I plan on stun locking them until they die. We good here? Alright. You guys have been laid low. Let's go upwards, maybe finish that off real fast. What's up, gents? How you like that combo right there? You like that combo, huh? You can chain one ability out of the other. So, like, when this combination is right in the middle of it, you can launch a fireball right at the end to kind of give them, like, a little one-two blast. Yeah, signature move them. There you go. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it, move it. We like to move it, move it. All those lemur-related songs. Let's head on up here. What is that, like a money pinata? I'll have to hit harder than that. All right, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Here we go. You have to craft a better skill bell combo than that to win. Oh, weak, dude. I don't think I have the ability. Nope. Out of stars. You got to work quicker. Yeah. That's unfortunate. I'd like to come back and get whatever that guy's treasure is, but I just don't think we hit hard enough right now. I think I need, like, another spell to add to the repertoire. The repeater toyer. And let's go up this way, and what is happening in this room? Bad things, huh? I had my suspicions that, like, good things were not going to happen to me in this room. But I didn't want to overdo it. Probably break those real quick so that I can teleport across to here. Oh, I, ch I attacked, man. I left clicked. I know I did. I know I did. Why you lying right now, game? Why you lying? Maybe we can get like a health ball or something around here? I did such a good job healing myself and now I'm all like foobard again. I got 177 bucks. Conjure a spear of ice that impales your foes and freezes them against walls. Cyclone boomerang. Hire a rapidly revolving air current that returns to you. 
I kind of like the idea of the spear. It looks like it's got a long cooldown, but maybe with that damage, we'll be able to finish this dude off. Let's go try. I want to see what he drops. All right, get up against the wall, bro. Nope, still not good enough. I don't think we're adding enough damage right now. Let me get my cooldowns back in. Maybe if I had my signature ready to go. Oh, so close. I think if I had landed a couple more, we would have been all right. All right, I got to wait for the cooldowns. Let's wait for the cooldowns. Here we go. Got him. Woof. Piñata. Let me get it. Let me get it. So the Scales of Babylon. What does that do? So designed by Virtuoso Sean Ariamaki Reitinger. This arcana allows you to lower active cooldowns to steal speed from enemies by blasting them with a burst of air. It's kind of cool. I don't get exactly what it does, but I get the rough idea that like I want to hit people with it. That's the impression that I'm getting right now. Oh, we just got juggled, bro. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm about to give him a little something over here. It's not looking good, though. It's definitely not looking good. Oh, he moved. Damn it, dude. I went in for the attack, but he was just too close, man. That burst right there is gnarly. All right, so with the stuff I discovered in here, like, do I get to keep all of those spells and I can, like, swap those out at will? Or, like, how does that work? What is that? Airburst Dash? Okay, so I guess I don't get to keep them. A series of icicles that cascade out and return to you. That becomes my signature. Okay. I don't know how I feel about that one. I think I feel like the fireball is better. Like, the fireball definitely feels better to me. Like, I'm not trying to get too crazy out here, but I do feel like the fireball is the superior choice. Like, it's the one that's helping us getting done in, like, Flavor Town. you know what I mean? What does that do? Earthen Aegis. Form a protective ring of stone shield. Okay. What else you got? The Nearite Shell. Adds a chance to slow your foe's signature charge no longer decays while building up. That's pretty good. Are you Mimi? Or is Mimi the... Oh, Mimi was the chest, wasn't it? Let's go look at Mimi real fast, because I think Mimi would want us to... I think Mimi would want us to swap out a relic. That one right there that allows me to save my signature charge is pretty good. There we go. Good stuff. Uh, this game is called Wizard of Legend. I personally think it's a very, very, very good game. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend checking out. You're cheating yourself. This one stands up there with, like, Terraria and, like, Moonlighter... And, you know, all the other random titles that have come out over the years, like Super Meat Boy, that are, like, incredibly good. This game is surely on that list, and you should definitely check it out. You're cheating yourself by not doing so and picking another game instead. If you have any interest in titles, like anything like Enter the Gungeon, but you wish that it had kind of a medieval flair. Ooh, yeah, how you like me now? I'll break wind right here. That dude thought that I wouldn't break his ass. He thought I wouldn't. You, I don't really want you to get an attack off. But yeah, this game stands solely as kind of one of those games that comes out maybe once or twice a year and turns out to be much more than you thought it was going to be. It turns out to be like a lot of fun. And so anyways, if you're a fan of like Nuclear Throne, Enter the Gungeon, any of those types of games, and you wanted to add another one of these like arena brawlers to your repertoire, I do highly recommend. I don't do this very often on my channel because I prefer to let people make up their own minds. But I don't do this very often. I do highly recommend Wizard of Legend. It's a very, very fun game. You will not regret it. It's one of those games that it, it just oozes style with regards to the art and I guess the accessibility and also the tactile feel of the game. The way that the abilities just flow out of your character and can be comboed one after the other. Like, it makes you feel like a powerful wizard. And I think that's kind of a hard thing to catch without slowing the game down and ultimately making it feel like you're spending all your time finger wiggling instead of getting cool effects that blow up the entire screen. 
My name is Splattercat. I show off indie games on the internet every single day and sift through the pile to find what is worthwhile so that you don't have to, my friends. I will see you all later. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like on it. It helps content creators out a ton. I wish I didn't have to ask or say anything about it because I'm not one of those content creators. But YouTube has made it so that channels basically live and die by audience interaction. And so at this point, I have no choice. Like, every time you bring it up, it goes up by like 50% on the video. And like, that's what YouTube decides, dictates whether or not your career gets to continue on existing nowadays. And so unfortunately, they've put me in the awkward position where I have to do it, even though I hate it every single time. I'll see y'all later. Thank you for stopping on in. Hi, do, and take care, everybody.